Yo, Issa. High oh, school boy football look this season. People are ready, you know. Alright then, pick up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make me link up. To watch the champions stop Ben Francis. Back a cup with team, I win the championship this season. Sweet, sweet, Senti comes alive here on the first day of November in 2023. Fierce battles await us featuring four Da Costa Cup heavyweights as the round of 16 is ready for an explosive encounter. First up, we see BB Coke High take on Manchester High here at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School in Santa Cruz. Hello, my name is Kimani O'Sullivan and we're live here in St. Elizabeth at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School for this round of 16 matchup in the Da Costa Cup between BB Coke and Manchester High. These two teams, they would have met last year with BB Coke being defeated by Manchester two times. Can BB Coke come back in this one and actually dethrone or throw off the undefeated Manchester High today? We're gonna find out. Ricardo Chambers, he's on commentary. Let's go upstairs to him. Yeah, thanks very much, Kimani O'Sullivan. It's early, but I tell you what, you can already feel the electricity here at St. Elizabeth Technical High School. Usually a very humid venue, but I tell you what, the real heat is going to be out on the field this afternoon. Four amazing teams in action. I think this is the biggest day of the Costa Cup football so far this season. Manchester High versus BB Coke to open our coverage. And then later on, it gets even better. The reigning champions, the defending champions, Clarendon College will take on St. Elizabeth at Technical High School. We are at the round of 16 stage of the Da Costa Cup. There are four groups at this stage of the competition. The top two teams from each will advance to the quarterfinals of the competition. And in group two, these two teams are in pole position to make progress. But a victory today will go a long way in helping them to the last eight of the Da Costa Cup as they look to realize their dream of winning this competition for the first time ever. Manchester High there on your screen looking for their first senior schoolboy football title. BB Coke back in 2019. You will see them shortly in red. They won the Ben Francis knockout, the biggest title in their school's history, but they want so much more. They want to go one better in the year 2023, and they are very much in the hunt so far as the teams line up and get ready for battle. This is really a mouth-watering prospect of an afternoon, as I said. For me, the biggest afternoon of the Costa Cup schoolboy football in this current season, and these two teams make their way out to the middle. A beautiful venue. This is lovely outfield, great for football. And they know that the eyes of the Da Costa Cup are very much on them this afternoon because we will get a very clear picture of who are serious contenders and those who are just merely pretenders. It is Manchester High there in the brown and gold. They take on BB Coke in the red and white. And what a matchup this one is set to be. The captains have introduced their players to the officials and now they take center stage. Casa Plummer, the man in the middle. Shavara Dennis, the first assistant. Clean Ferran, the second assistant. Carrington Visa is the fourth official for this one. Zorik Grant is the captain of BB Coke. And Sejai Ashman is the captain of the Manchester High team. Sejai Ashman sporting the number three jersey for Manchester High. Zorik Grant, the 18-year-old, sporting the number six jersey for BB Coke. There they are. They know this is a big match. Both teams have already secured a win each at this stage of the competition. This is a very difficult competition to win the Da Costa Cup. They go through their preliminary round groups and then they get to a round of 32. But before we tell you all of that, let's have a look at the starting lineup. Starting with BB Coke, Daniel Walters will start in goal. They have Javon Lindsay, Zorik Grant, the captain, Enrique Powell, Tevon Maris, Sanjay Allen, Daniel Webb, Samar Williams, Otis Powell, Rasheen Thompson, and their leading goal scorer with seven, Jamal Wright. He also has four assists to his credit. The man who led them to Ben Francis' glory in 2019 is still the leader. His name is Kemar Ricketts. There's the Manchester High team. They know this is one of their biggest tests this season. Shamar Kamak, the 18-year-old who came across from Mayday High in 2018. 
he starts in goal. Sajai Ashman, the captain, Rashid Harriet, Malachi Hudson, Shamin Ham, Jamar Brown, Adrian Campbell has been prolific this season with nine goals, as has Brown with 11, Ron Webb, Tyrese Douglas, Chavis Lloyd, and their leading marksman, only 16 years old, Shafir Newman, in his third Acosta Cup season, he's already scored 19 goals. They're coached by Patrick Graham, the very experienced Bradley Stewart is the assistant for this Manchester High team. We already have a wonderful crowd spread right across this facility. You can see there in the background, the fans have come out in their numbers. Casa Plummer is ready to get the match on its way. And it's Manchester High who will get the football to get this one going. Campbell. This is Tyrese Douglas. Back to Rashid Harriet. Douglas keeps it in play. Comes under his first challenge, but maintains possession of the football. Back to Harriet. This is Harriet again. Slips it inside. Lifted over the top, searching for Adrian Campbell. Campbell gets inside the box, does very well, Campbell, but unable to get across inside. And Enrique Powell cleans up for BB Cole. And it's BB Cole who will have a throw within the first minute of this contest. There is Kamar Ricketts, the BB Cole head coach. Knows he has a battle on his hands this afternoon. Eight years he's been leading this BB Coke team. Kemar Ricketts as head coach. He has been at the school though for 17 years. As they look to come forward, ball searching over the top for Otis Powell. He does get possession, but he has company through Malachi Hudson. Powell does well, but he needs help. Tevin Morris makes himself available. Morris swings a good ball inside. Trouble. And the clearance doesn't come here. It's a glorious chance. Sanche Allen steers home his third goal of the season. And within two minutes, the boys in red the lead at set. What a start from a bit that Shamar Kamak recovers second time around. And Manchester High get away with it on that occasion. That's booted away by the captain Ashman. Searching upfield for the dangerous Newman. He's excellent in front of goal. Shavir Newman, he only needs a sniff. There is Patrick Graham. Under pressure already on the Manchester high bench. Knows he's going to be up against it this afternoon. They are undefeated this season, but they have not met a team of the quality of BB Cope. What a start for the 2019 Ben Francis Cup champions. Free kick for Manchester high. Headed into touch by Jamal Wright. And it will be a Manchester high throw. That's headed away from danger, headed further away by Webb. BB Cook trying to escape again, but Manchester High do well this time around, and the captain, Ashman, spreads it forward, picking out Jamar Brown. Manchester High on their way. Here's a cross coming inside the box. That's easily cleared away by Rasheen Thompson out of the heart of the BB Cook defense. And once again, they look to escape with the BB Cook, this time over on the left hand side. And the ball is poked into touch. They'll have a throw, but more importantly for Manchester High, the attack is slowed. And Enrique Powell takes the throw. 
That's the plumber. Steps in. Good job. And keep it here. And it will be a free kick, I think, for BB Cork here. What a start for them. What a start. Sixth minute of the contest. BB Cork leading Manchester High by a goal today. Free kick coming up for BB Cork. That's a good ball in. The header, though, is well wide from Tevin Morris. Here's Douglas from Manchester. Wins the throw. Well, he doesn't. It actually goes the way of BB Cole. Tevin Morris. Just the start that PB Cook could have wanted. That sign in the background. Treasure Beach FC. This is their home ground. The Jamaica Premier League team, promoted team for this season. Manchester in position. With Rashid Harriet. When this team a throw over on this near side. Patrick Graham up off his bench and right is so already under early pressure. His team down by a goal to nil. Harriet with the throw. BB Coco with it, but only momentarily. He's looking there for Jamal Wright, their leading scorer. Corner kick swung in low. Here's a shot that's hammered over the top. That came off the boot of Jermaine Ham. But he couldn't keep it down and on target. Keith Wellington, the president of the Intersecondary School Sports Association, ISA, and also the principal here at St. Elizabeth Technical High. Here's Manchester High with an opportunity to make it 1 1. Not enough power onto the shot. It might have been Ron Webb. That's a glorious opportunity to make it 1 1. The second bundle for the first two legged ties. And the 16 winners advance to the round of 16. They are put into four groups of four. And that's where we are, as this one is sent long by Malachi Hudson. And a second yellow card comes out. This time to Manchester Heights, Adrian Campbell. The two yellow cards in the 11th minute of this encounter. 1-1 one, one in that department. 1-0. For PB Cook over Manchester High. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube platform to witness this match and the one that is to follow. Clarendon College will take on St. Elizabeth Technical High School and that is expected to be a cracker of a game. This one is expected to be a cracker as BB Cork head forward once more and this one falls nicely for come up and uh, danger averted as Manchester High come away with it. Here's an attempt at a long ball over the top. Was looking for Adrian Campbell. Couldn't find him. Comes back to the center of the field. Headed down by Otis Powell for BB Cole. They have possession of the team in red. Just searching for options here. And a whistle on the play goes the way of BB Cole. Hey, hey! 
Typical Inelli says Manchester High to win by two goals to one. Still on course for that confirmation of the yellow card to Adrian Campbell. B.B. Cork in possession. Top of the box. Important interception there for Manchester High. Now with Otis Powell. Well, he's unable to maintain possession. Palace for it, though. But the throw will go to Manchester High. There's Powell, the 17-year-old. And only a second season of playing for the Costa Cup, but he looks very much at home. Ball comes into the center of the park, headed away by Tevin Morris for PB Cope, but it's won by Jamar Brown for Manchester High. Brown twisting and turning. Campbell, Campbell picks it up left side of the penalty box, doesn't have much assistance, will have to do it alone. Cuts inside, now plays the pass to Webb and Webb comes under a... Time the challenge over on the far side. Travis Lloyd. Quarter of an hour gone in this one. BB Cole still with the advantage they gained in the second. Devon Morris. Yeah. 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 An impactful yeah. game so far for BB Cole. Yeah. Just a high with a throw. Pick it up and go there, show it. Harriet. Headed inside the box, cleared away. Run web. There's Jamar Brown. For Manchester High. Trying to build an attack here with Tyrese Douglas. Douglas cuts inside. He's thinking about a shot. That's brilliant. The block. And now they go the other end. BB Cope. Go on, go on, go on, go on, man. Go on, make it up, Paul. Yes, go on, man. 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 Go on, Otis Powell taken down inside the box. That may well go down as another come-up mistake. 
And what a chance for PB Cope to go two clear with just over 20 minutes gone in this round of 16 contest. Just what Manchester High did not need. Come up, get treatment. What an opportunity this is. to double their advantage. Might well be the captain. Sorry, Grant, who is standing over it. With a marvelous opportunity to set his team to clear. Grant steps up. They were on beat coming into this Manchester High. But Pete and Cole were all over them. It's 2 0 after 22 and a half minutes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Back by, back by, Loma. He will need a couple here. At least. Hey! Oh! That said it behind by Rashane Thompson. Corner kick coming up for Manchester High. Here's Williams again. Setters the play well. This one is swung over onto the right hand side. Slips inside the box by Otis Powell. The flag is up for outside. Beautiful for the football from PB Court here all over Manchester High here. And in the first 25 minutes, they look by some distance the better team in this encounter. The richest lifestyle says Manchester have met their match. That they have. Go, make a jump. Yes, man. Ref! Watch out, Ref! Player down for BB Cole. Twenty seventh minute of this encounter, BB Cole leading by two goals to nil, Samar Williams in the second minute and the captain Zarek Grant from the penalty spot. Hey, tell one of them man for Mark in that stuff. 20 minutes later, making Mark. it 2 nil. Lovely afternoon, the lights will come on later for Clarendon College versus St. Elizabeth Technical High School. Clarendon College not just favourites for that matchup, but they are favourites to lift their 11th 
Egypt Acosta Cup title. The captain Zarek Grant back on the field for BB Thorpe. The rain getting heavier and heavier here. That's dealt with at the back by Rasheen Thompson for BB Thorpe. Throw coming up for Manchester High over on the far side. Manchester High looking short of ideas here in terms of how they are going to find a goal. It's always been one of the big issues for Manchester High. They don't score many goals, especially when they come to the latter stages of the competition. It's been, as I'm concerned, the Achilles heel for them. Pouring down the rain here. Saints Elizabeth little technical by school, I guess we've become accustomed to this. There is some thunder about as well. And uh, so we'll probably also need to watch on for lightning. And uh, we'll watch closely what the officials do. We do start to see any lightning. Here is Manchester High heading forward. Can't get the shot towards the target. Organize, organize, organize. Sight, especially in these wet conditions. They try to rebuild an attack. Manchester High. Just a high in dad, possession. All comes down to Harriet. Harriet and Brand. Well, go inside, inside, Brand. Inside right the center. Of our... Otis Powell. Who slips it into the path of Jamal Wright. And that one is banged away. And another opportunity for BB Cove to mount an attack. Hey, hey. Corner kick coming up for BB Cove. 31st minute of this contest. That one comes dangerously hit, headed down, but over the top. Couldn't get it on target. And Manchester High fortunate that they are not three behind. That definitely was an opportunity to at least test Comic in goal once more. And once again, the Manchester High goalkeeper is down. So, Comet 
weakening treatment the Manchester High goalkeeper who's had a torrid afternoon so far I don't think he's had many afternoons as difficult as the first 30 minutes have been here. That girl here says one BB Coke fire. Indeed. Terrific start to this encounter for BB Coke. Marcus Michael still thinks that Manchester High will win this one. Says the game will end 3-2. Real heavy downpour. Harriet clears for Manchester. Remember, the top two teams from each of the four groups in the round of 16 will advance to the quarterfinals of this competition. Shaquille Brown requesting some information. So even if a team loses here, there is still a strong possibility they can advance as both teams come into this game already with one win. That's three points. Well, PB Coke trying to ensure that their qualification is pretty much safe. Sixth minute of this encounter, free kick coming up for Manchester High. Hudson for Harriet. Now with Tyrese Douglas. Douglas slips it through for Newman. Newman. Trying to lift this one at the edge of the 18. That set it away and comes on to Harriet. Still Manchester High in possession. And then that one. I think he was caught between making a pass and taking a shot. I'm not sure. But that was very much well off the mark. From Manchester High's. Jermaine Ham. BB Coat now can go forward with Otis Powell again. He won the penalty and uh, skipped over that challenge. And it was a pretty strong challenge as well. And Manchester High will escape with the football on this occasion. Douglas sends it forward. Was looking for Brown. PB Coke, though, really solid effort so far from them. No, here's the chance for three. The flank is up. K 
Can Manchester High turn this around? They surely still have time. They are looking for Newman. Thompson wins it, plays it into touch. Because Jamar Brown was moving in on him. Moving in on him. Webb decides to call for call. Run has spun his web. And Manchester High are back in this one. A moment of absolute brilliance and quality. The first real moment of. And for the first time, they gave Webb that little bit of space. And that is all he needed to curl that beautiful left footer into the far corner. And just like that, just like that, we have a real match on. Free kick coming up here for PB Coke. The man who scored the first goal, Williams. That set it over the top, that wasn't far away. Might have been Lindsay, was it, who got ahead to that. But it really wasn't that far away. It's been given as a corner kick for BB Coke. For the first minute of this encounter, BB Coke leading Manchester High by two goals to one. Rainy conditions and a pack St. Elizabeth Technical High School. This one comes in high. Comac drops it in front of him and gets it under control. Thank you for joining us. On our YouTube platform, difficult conditions here at St. Elizabeth Technical High School, but we press on. Manchester High. The attempted cross flies behind. Typically, Nelly says one run web. Peeban Black's class goal that it was. A real class goal. There's their leading goal scorer. He hasn't gotten into the act yet for Manchester High. Javier Newman, the 16 year old, with 19 goals this campaign. Manchester High just trying to finish the first half strongly here. They have possession with Harriet. Harriet dribbles forward. Now he looks for the options. Cuts it inside. Here is a drive towards the target. Might have taken a deflection. And a fist across the face of goal. And a corner kick coming up for Manchester High in the 43rd minute. Making a strong finish to this first stanza. A first half that has been dominated for the most part by BB Coke, but now Manchester High making a run at it at BB Coke, but now Manchester High making a run at it at the end here. Here's a chance. Oh, the goalkeeper does well and wins a free kick. Daniel Walters It's his semi final in 2016, won by St. Elizabeth Technical. Kemar Ricketts now well covered, well coated. Manchester High now having to defend. Manchester High were outstanding as they usually are in the 
opening round of the competition. They scored 53 goals and only conceded three at the preliminary stage of the competition. And then in the round of 32, uh, they got the better of Monroe College 1-0 and 2-1. So a 3-1 aggregate score. So 56 goals for and four against coming into today's match. They've now conceded six and they just scored their 57th. So they will be confident that they can get more goals here. Manchester High School. They have possession of the football. Oh, that was... The captain stands behind it once more. Zorik Grant, the 18-year-old, has scored four goals this season. The fourth one came from the penalty spot in the 22nd minute. That's the fifth one. Rolls it to the right of the goalkeeper. It's two on the afternoon for the BB co-captain. And the 2019 Ben Francis Cup champions lead Manchester High by three goals to one in the round of 16 of the 2023 Da Costa Cup. High fives, low fives, big smiles, all on the BB Colt bench. There's the halftime whistle. BB Cork.
Caesar. People are ready, you know. Alright then, pick up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make willing cup, willing cup. We watch the champion stop, then Francis Bart a cup with team I win the championship this season. Yo, it's a bomb and I was cool like a finish the league and Back at St. Elizabeth at Technical High School, the first match of a doubleheader. BB Colt leading Manchester High Point. And BB Colt looking to pick up where they left off. That ball cleared away though. Can Manchester High create? or produce this massive comeback. They were 2-0 down, Manchester High got a goal to bring it back to 2-1, but then BB Cox separated themselves by two goals again. Two penalties in the three scored by BB Cox so far this afternoon. That was heading for the target. Manchester High trying to escape over on this right hand side. Adrian Campbell unable to get control of it, and it's a throw for BB Coke. Sanjay Allen in possession for BB Coke. Here is Samar Williams who scored the opening goal. And looking for right. Whoa, that was a dangerous looking challenge from Jamal Wright, BB Cox's leading goal scorer. And luckily for him, Campbell skipped over it. We call killing forward once more with Daniel Webb inside the box. Goal kick coming up for Manchester High. A few moments of calm. Throw taken by Javis Lloyd for Manchester. He gets it back, Lloyd. PB Cook heading forward with Samar Williams. Must have had a moment to be concerned. Harriet sends it forward for Manchester High. Picked up by Newman. There are 19 goal men this campaign looking for Ron Webb. Made them pay with his sixth. Love the turnout on this Wednesday afternoon in Santa Cruz. Banged away by Ham. Comes into the center for BB Cook to claim. Now they play a little ping pong. And Manchester high of a free kick just inside their opponent's half. Here is Webb again. 
That one had no power. It was all along the ground and easily cut out. Scored with a left foot. A strong and right-footed effort just then. Manchester High now with Newman. He had pressure now released with that slip. But they're trying to build an attack once more. Here is Adrian Campbell. Has two on him, including Sanjay Allen, who clears. Comes out to Jamal Wright. Here is Wright again. Oh, skips around this man. Thought he had been taken down by Sajai Ashman. Not the case. P.B. Cork heading forward. Goal kick Manchester. For the most part, it's remained a pretty good outfield. The rain has stopped for the moment here in Santa Cruz. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app and watch Scoopboy Football from Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago plus the host of other products on your home of champions. Champions League Football, Europa League Football, La Liga. All for your viewing pleasure. B.B. Cock remaining in control. Powell won two of the penalties. He's had a really good game. Manchester High now with Adrian Campbell. Goes for the cross. Comes out to Webb. We already know he has a dangerous left foot. That one was along the ground and easy for Daniel Walters. Who as a goalkeeper should got his entire body behind it.
That's backed away by Jafon Lindsay at the back for BB Cook. Samar Williams now in possession. Here's Williams under pressure. Wins his team a throw over on the far side. The drizzle has started to get relatively heavy again as Williams heads forward one more time. Scored his fourth goal of the campaign. B.B. Coke's opening goal this afternoon. They lead by Ham. B.B. Coke throw though. Manchester cleans up. Van Webb for Ham. Possession maintained by Manchester High. This one falls for Campbell. Campbell ran into traffic. Campbell lost possession. Comes out to Lloyd for Manchester High. This is Lloyd looking for options. Decides to just pick out Ham. Here is the goal scorer, Webb. Ron Webb. Lloyd looking to thread this one through. Comfortably dealt with. Lloyd again has possession for Manchester High. Adrian Campbell slips this one forward, looking to for the goal scorer Webb. Sanjay Allen accompanies him. Shoulder to shoulder bump, and the ball goes behind for a BB Coke goal kick. Oh, Webb was trying to hammer that with the left foot again. Lloyd picks it up for Manchester High. Swings the cross in. Thompson does well for B.B. Cork Williams. Then sprayed it wide whistle. You can see the smoke in the background there. You know, lovely jerk chicken being shipped up. I'll tell you something about the chicken in St. Elizabeth. It's bigger than the chicken anywhere else in this country. I don't know what they feed them here. But they don't look like your normal chicken, that's for sure. That's not a bad ball down the right-hand side for Manchester High. What can they make of this? With Adrian Campbell, who was trying to get across inside, no luck for him. And needed to create the space first of all, was unable to do so, Campbell. We've gone beyond the hour mark in this one. And BB Coke in control like they have been from 
the second minute of this contest. The drizzle has started to get significantly heavier again. Lloyd for Manchester High. Sanjay Allen doesn't leave him. Gets a boot in there. Manchester. Still a slight drizzle across St. Elizabeth Technical High School. Manchester High versus St. Elizabeth Technical to come later on. That is a titanic clash. Corner kick it is for Manchester High School as they go in search of their second of the afternoon. Treated on the sidelines for a hamstring injury. He was in tears as he was stretched off, but the latest is that his day is over, of course. He's been sub. Things looking quite dark for Manchester High. Unless they can have a special finish to this one. By no stretch of the imagination will their campaign be over even if they lose here as Lloyd picks this one up. Because they would still have a chance of getting through once they can win their remaining match. They already have a win in the group. And one more match to come after this. This victory would go a long way in taking BB Cove to the quarterfinals of the competition, which will be a fine achievement for them when they get to the quarterfinal stage once again two groups of four and the top two from each group will advance to the semi-final Manchester High put in a few passes together here here's a cross coming in that's headed away Harriet was trying to break through and get a shot off not for him Maya Salmon is on the part now for Manchester High there number eight here is Lloyd left-footed shot drilled forward by Salmon PB Cope will escape with it though Sanjay Allen slips it into space for Blake Salmon gets back quickly to challenge Blake gets inside the box Kamak reads it well and danger averted for Manchester High. Ball out to Lloyd. Lloyd for Douglas. Here's Douglas again, trying to get around his man. He's taken down. That will be a free kick for Manchester High. Those from 
Comac in the Manchester High Call and was it handed clean by Daniel Walters in these real difficult conditions now. Here is Blake again running at the Manchester High back line. Manchester High back line. Arriving is Williams who scored the opening goal. Williams lays it up wide for Allen. Allen speeds inside the box, gets the cross in, but it's comfortably handled by Comac. Stays at 3 1 in favor of BB Coke. Here is Manchester High with Douglas. Couldn't get the shot away. Probably had an opportunity to shoot and didn't take it. Here is Webb. His shot is blocked. Sapman wins it in the middle for Manchester High. Manchester High searching for a second goal. One, one, that comes across the face of goal. The shot squeezes in. It's Tyree Douglas. And there is still hope. For Manchester High School, they get a second. And BB Cokes lead back to just one goal. 3-2. The high will likely grow in confidence here after that goal. They had been building some amount of momentum. Lloyd plays it forward. Here he is again on the football. Javis Lloyd sent forward. Here's the goal scorer. Douglas, this one goes wide of the mark. I'm not sure if that was an attempted pass or Manchester High stepping up the pace here. Right been shown by Manchester High here but can they get another goal to level proceedings at Stets? Typical Inelli says this one will finish 3-3. Very much possible. We are in the last six and a half minutes of the 90. Manchester High in possession once again. Here's Douglas. Lloyd. Pretty much. Every member of the Manchester High staff off the bench. As a Brian Stevenson is getting ready to come on for BB Coke. Manchester High getting ready to take a corner kick. So Brian Stevenson is on. Corner kick coming up for Manchester. Webb delivers. The header was away from the target. Manchester High back on the attack. Ball steps inside. Cleared away. Frantic moments here for BB Cole.
This is how Manchester High were finishing the first half before they conceded the third goal. They're hoping that they're the ones who will get a third. As Salmon picks it up now. Decides again shooting. Thought about it for sure. B.B. Cook standing tall at the back like they have done for most of this contest. And in truth, both goals came pretty much out of almost nothing. Here is Harriet chipping that one forward. That's headed away. The captain, Grant, lays it forward. But Manchester High have it again with Salmon. Ham picks it up for them. They're putting passes together here, Manchester High. But no clear opportunities to shoot as Lloyd. Oh, he almost got it back and he would have gotten it into space as well. Play picks it up for BB Cook. Options for play. Goes out wide for Sanche. An attack of their own. But that's not a very good first ball. And it will be a throw for BB Cook over on the far side. Love the crowd turning up to watch the Costa Cup football on a Wednesday afternoon in St. Elizabeth. 87th minute of this one. The peanut man is here as well. There is always a peanut man at a football match in Jamaica. Or woman. That's a long ball looking for Tyrese Douglas. Douglas couldn't get there first. The goalkeeper Walters did. And he might have been touched. And sure that you download the Sportsmax app and watch schoolboy football from both Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica Premier League, UEFA Champions League, UEFA Europa League, UEFA Youth League. So much football action for you to watch on the Sportsmax app. Download today. You can also watch the Sportsmax zone 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Jamaica time, 5.30 to 7 ECT, Mondays to Fridays. Change being made here by Manchester High, Arrain Wright makes his way. Walter spotting that one early and dealing with it comfortably. Cheers from the BB Coke fans as they are one step closer to three important points here in the round of 16 as they inch that much closer to a spot in the quarterfinals of the Da Costa Cup. That much closer to a spot in the quarterfinals of the Da Costa Cup. Manchester High. Long ball over the top, and you get the feeling that if it stays this way, a few candidates for player of the match, but Otis Powell for BB Coke, I think, stands out. Won both penalties for his team. And it would be difficult to deny him if BB Coke can hold on here. Manchester High having to defend. As Ron Webb, who scored the first Manchester High goal, goes down. He's in pain. And play does continue. B.B. Cook trying to attack with Williams. Samar Williams, here he is again. Blake is asking for it. Decides against it. Now he goes to Blake, and Blake drives it wide of the target. We are into five minutes of time added on. And we're closing in on two of those minutes completed. Okay, 
Potman with a throw for BB Cook. Goalkeeper come up. Ham delivers this one high, but safely into the hands of Daniel Walters. And that may well be it. BB Cook may well have done enough. This one is booted long. Still about 20 seconds to play. Can Manchester High get one final attack? They'll need to get possession of the football first. And right now it's proving difficult. Manchester High in Santa Cruz! And they have done so in no uncertain manner. It's been a clinical performance. Tells a lot. think about that whole the mistakes by a team today yes um you know sometimes when you're playing the game of football and when you come on I mean said as a potential title contender what message does this win send today we're still the underdogs we're taking it objectively we, we are into the quarterfinal now so we, we go again on Saturday and we, we, we take it objectively one at a time and in terms of penalties I mean you score